As the question says, figure shows a particle sliding on a frictionless track which terminates in a straight horizontal section. If the particle starts slipping from point A, how far away from the track will the particle hit the ground? This being the point A and we need to find where will it hit the ground. Now friends, they want to know this distance where it will be falling. So we can say it is a projectile motion after this track. So if we somehow manage to find the velocity here of this projectile V, then we can simply calculate this distance needed in the question. And they have also given us the heights at the final positions and the initial position that is A and B both if we take this point to be B. So the first thing that comes to our mind is that we can calculate the work done by the gravitational pull. And we have the final velocity v which we need to find out and the initial being zero. So simply we can employ the work energy theorem here to get the velocity and finally employ that velocity to find give us the distance covered in the projectile motion. Employing the work energy theorem, we have the final velocity v over the point b. So the velocity, the kinetic energy is half mv square, change is minus zero giving us the work done which is the positive by the gravitational pull because the height is decreasing that is mg it is 1 minus 0.5 right giving us the velocity to be under root g that is 3.1 meter per second now with this velocity this is actually the speed because we got the v square and we got the magnitude so this is the speed how we came, came to know the direction is that it is moving on a straight horizontal section now. So obviously the velocity will be in the horizontal direction. That's why we got the velocity to be 3.1 in the horizontal direction. And now it is a simple projection with downward initial velocity to be 0. Uh, that is the theta is 0 for this projectile. And we let us employ the second equation of motion that is ut plus half a t square in the y direction in order to find the time so that we can simply multiply that with the x direction speed to get the distance you can also directly use the formula but let us proceed with the conceptual approach which is this actually right this is half into minus g t square now theta is 0 so this becomes 0 now here we can calculate the time to be 0 0.31 seconds from this quadratic now this is the time this particle takes to reach from point b to the ground so for that much time it is moving in the horizontal direction so obviously the horizontal direction will be the horizontal speed into the time which is 3.1 into 0 0.31 seconds giving us a distance of approximately 1 meters. So this, this is actually the distance that the particle will be covering in the horizontal direction before coming into the contact with the ground.